gonna do ca- top three because we can't do all eight of them. Whatever he's done. <sighs> all right, number It'll one, Jackie Brown. Number two, Pulp Fiction. Number three, Reservoir Dogs. Ballsy. But I love, with Jackie I Brown. love Kill Bill. I, I love I love Tarantino. I'm a bit. Bi- you know too. what? I fucking love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I a loved lot. it too. It's tough, but those are my. That's my gut right there. Is like go with the gut. Jackie Brown's phenomenal. Yeah, that one hits you. It hits me hard because it's it's kind of it's no movie of Tarantino's has more heart. Ooh, it, it's like happy. I love all of his work. I think he's an incredible filmmaker. But I just there's something about that movie that like it's desperate. It, it, Pam Greer's a desperate character. Yes, yeah. yes. Robert uh, Forster is kind of a desperate character. It's his classic thing where he casts people that kind of like I won't say down on their luck, but they kind of deserve more. Pam Greer, mm-hmm. uh, Robert Forster. And it's kind of like iconic roles for both of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Samuel L., Chris Tucker. Samuel the L. is so, so funny. Great. So funny. So funny. De Niro, De Niro in a weird is role. a weird De Niro. Supposed to be Stallone. Is that right? He turned it down. Uh, he, turned down, it down? he turned down two Tarantino movies. Why? What's he wrong? turned down Death Proof, too, because he just like, I got girls. I don't want to be a guy who's like picking up women and murdering them. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but it's a character, I, though, so. I don't know why he turned down Jackie Brown. Huh. Interesting. How do you turn down Tarantino? Some Maybe, people think he's a hack, by the way. I know. I think they all respect him. I think it's just like, I'm not right. I think it's more like probably their insecurities. Like, I don't think I can do this well. Well, yeah, I don't want to bring up bad blood, but uh, Favreau shits on Tarantino a little bit in Swingers. What does he Remember do? Remember that? He's like, yeah. ah, he just bites everything from Scorsese. And you're like, this is back when Tarantino was so new. And you're like, dude, you don't know what, what he's going to be. Well, he, I, think he that went was, for it. I think that was a joke because they ripped off Reservoir Dogs in that movie. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a scene that where they a, all were walking. I remember, but it, I don't know. It felt real. And then they ripped off. They no, also no, no. I think, I think that was kind of. Was that a zing? Yeah, no, I think no. they were making fun of themselves. Making fun of themselves. Uh, they, right. He shits on him, and then they all walk like in Reservoir So they're ripping off Reservoir sure. Dogs. I, I and get then it. they rip off Scorsese when yeah. they do the walking into the bar scene. Yeah. Right, or the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen. Yeah. Sorry. So, no, I think I think that was playful. Okay. But also, Tarantino is like. It's tough. I, I love all this stuff, but that's what my gut says. That's a good, it's but, a good list. But once upon a time, if we're talking repo- rewatch factor. It's so, oh, it's so fun. So fun. The fight with Bruce Lee. Brad Pitt is great. The the, the western scenes with Leo, or when he has that meltdown with the drinking too much. It's incredible. I mean, it's incredible. So, so that's, much. In that's that movie. but my gut says I lo- Jackie Brown hits me. Where it's like, it's man, better than Pulp Fiction. I didn't say no, better. I no. said top for us. I you thought that was go, a you, question. You got to go oh, okay. personal. I okay. love Kill Bill. I think Kill Bill is incredible. What? Uh, I don't kill. I didn't, not I didn't say. I didn't me. say Jackie Brown is a better film than Pulp Fiction. I thought this was our personal. It's I don't personal. consider Natural Born Killers a Tarantino movie either. He just did the story. Either. He didn't even do the script. I thought what? The script. What? Uh, I think he did the script. Did he? Yeah, and I think he produced it or something. What? So okay, what do you guys got? I'm going Pulp. Yeah. Then. Hollywood, then Reservoir. That's good. Yeah, I'm similar. I'm Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, and then Hollywood. Really? Maybe Jackie, Jackie Brown, maybe three, I don't know. But that's, Jackie that's, Brown's that's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's the soundtrack. Rewatchability, oh, I think I've watched that one the most. The Delphonics. Maybe Pulp Fiction. Oh yeah. my God. That, so good. And it's like, it's I'm also like the most romantic. Street. Yeah, yeah. That so little good. like, where they is romantic because it's like Casablanca where they don't end up together. Ooh. Yes. That's what I love about it. It's like they kind of, you could tell they both liked each other too much to end up together. And Pam Greer is so hot. So hot. So sexy. But they liked each other so much that they're like, let's leave it here. That's fucking romantic. Yeah, let's baby. not let's not ruin this. We just pulled off a heist. What are we going to go on vacation together and then pick at each other right. in Spain? Good point. They Good just point. pulled off the heist of the century. Then they're just hanging out in in Maine. Like, oh, you chew kind of loud. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. 